Welcome back to God Tracking. It's winter, it's fishing time, busy packing for a day trip. It's going to be myself and the two kids. And I thought why not show you what we're going to pack, what it looks like while all the gear is out. We're only taking the car, we're not taking the big trailer as well. So uh, let's get going. From underneath the rows of trees, I will see you where the ocean meets the sky. Under your toes, the fire grows. So any trip, we have to get the basics down first. Remember Maslow's rules, we need to look after our surroundings. So for the children, three things important. Stay warm, keep them fed, have fun. So what we're going to do is start at the side. Put four bags of wood ready, packed. That's just for the morning, that's not to make food hot. That's to keep us warm, to make coffee and get ready. Over here, sleeping bags. We're not planning to sleep there, but I know it's going to be cold. So if they get there and it's colder than we expected, they can get a sleeping bag, they can climb inside the car, they can lie outside. I know they're warm. As long as they're warm, the fishing trip is fun. When they're cold, everything is miserable. It doesn't help us catch better fish, but it does make sure that we have fun and the kettle is ready. Food wise, we only have a small bag because we're just taking breakfast and lunch. Got a separate video for that, so I'll show you what that is, and I'll give you a link to how we pack for fishing for a day with the kids in a quick and easy method. Now, seating is not important, but it makes life so much more comfortable. So what we do is we have kids' seats. I've already packed them out. I've got my own ready. I've got the folded chairs. I'll show you the difference between them in a separate link. Just have a look in the description below, and you'll be able to have a comparison between different types of chairs. I have a spare grid, just in case no facilities. I know tomorrow's place does have, but it's always nice to have an extra setup. Of course, now we get to the crux of it. This all looks after us during the day. It looks after us to have fun, to meet our ultimate goal, fishing rods. Tomorrow's venue has beautiful carp. I'm definitely targeting that, as well as some large bass. So we've got the two bass rods for the kids, and I have two carp rods each. In my ideal case, I'll just take 8 foot rods, but I don't have enough 8 foot rods for all of us, so we're taking the 8, the 10, and the 12, so that we can have 2 each on our fishing trip. Small foldable tray, uh, table. Now, my chair does have a table, but it's not enough space. If I need to work with something, I need some more space. These are awesome for that. All my reels are already packed. Big copy, so we have a big carp net. We have a way net as well to protect the carp. We have three different stands, one for each child. I'll unpack that at the fishing waters. Extra setup just in case the place is a bit uncomfortable. And finally, my camera boxes. I love my ammo boxes, they are critical. This one just has kitchen utensils in it. So I know if I take this kit, I can dry. I have containers for the extra food, I have plates, everything packed, special cups. This has my fishing gear in it, the bottom one has all our different dips and floats and flavors. The top one has pre-made fishing gear. We'll unpack all of these in separate videos, go through them in detail. Guys, this is the kit. We're leaving the large trailer back in its cage. We're going to practice it to the car. I'll show you what that looks like once it's packed. It's like playing Tetris, and then uh, we'll go fishing. See you next to the water. Follow the links, hit subscribe. Did I forget anything? I hope not. We'll have seen enough. As soon as we hit the water, we'll see what's there. Right, so we're ready to pack. We're going to start now. You saw the layout in the garage. We're using a Ford Everest, so we're not going out with the trailer. What I love about this vehicle is the amount of space that we have inside. It is honestly one of the best purchases I've ever made. I can recommend this to anybody with a family. We're only going with three, because so our flat in the back, but you don't have to. When we're four going out, we still use all the seats and everything I'm about to put in, I still put in the same vehicle without even using a riff rack. So the amount of space is amazing. Just to prove it, look at this. Full length, worth head space. I just can't complain. So when we go out, this is a great uh, find for us. We take this vehicle with. Uh, we've often had to stop next to like a dam or next to the river. We don't want to do a whole setup. Let's just pop this open, unpack our gear, and we enjoy the day outside. And if we really need to get some shelter from the wind, look at all the space we have inside. It's not even an issue. So 
Let's get packing. It's time for blowing up Tetris. Luckily now with us only being three, we've got all this extra packing space. So I'm gonna get my stuff now, start loading it. Let's do it. We're not using a roof rack, so I need to make sure that I have space to put the rods, and not that long. Um, but it's something to bear in mind, because you don't want these heavy crates knocking against it while we're driving. Because I'm not using the roof rack, I'm putting the wood down at the bottom, so that it forms a solid heavy base, and then I'll pack everything else on top of it. But, so we'll be doing a, a big chair review later, just in comparison between different chairs. This is my director's chair. I love this chair, but I hate packing it. Um, it doesn't go compact, can't fit it into small areas, it takes up space, it's clunky, it's not flat. So as much as I love this chair, and I've had it for 10 years, and I absolutely love it, I hate packing it. Something to keep in mind if you have a smaller vehicle, means that you can take a chair like this and actually fit it in your packing. Follow me down, there's no one around. If you get a good holding net or a good net to weigh with, what's great about these is I can use it for uh, transport. So all the small things like a small table, big net, all that just fits in here. Um, if I want to zip it up, I can. And ultimately, I can just close it and fit it on top. So it's a great tool, especially when you're mad alone going out and need something to carry with. Uh, extra stuff, this works perfectly. So try and get a quality bag because you can use it in storage as well. Ten foot two piece and I still have space to put in more stuff if I had to get a longer ride. Notice also I put all the heavier stuff on this side, so if something had to be unstable and fall to the side, it doesn't hit the person sitting here. Without an experience, I know it won't fall, so it should be fine. You must return to the wild. Guys, that's it. So this is my food. I packed that to put it in the front. You can see. I can still see from the front, so if I need to look through my rear view mirror, it's a complete open space, which is great for safety again. So, really very happy with the amount of space. Practically, you can see us loading it now. It's going to be three of us going. Everyone with seats, seat belts, and a lot of space to work with. This I'm going to put in the front so it doesn't flop around. And that's it. We're ready for tomorrow. All we have to do is load our food. See you in the morning. Shining for the wind is cold You must return to the wild